planets are aligning. And Alex is just going a little bit nuttier. Somebody's making a noise in here. Is there a new one? No, it's the same one. problem now where do I go? Cause I didn't get any clues or anything. Uh, oh right. I don't like the way he's like looking up at the camera like that. <laughs> Ooh, creepy. Alright, let's go. See if anything new showing up. What's going on? This isn't really happening. What was that? Can I? No, I can't. All right, I was wondering if I can unload the revolver. Hmm. I think it came from this way, yeah. I also have to remember I have a map. That only leads there. That loops around. That leads to the secret room. Upstairs. And honestly, that's it. Hmm. <sighs> okay. Well, uh, everybody okay? Everything's starting to freak the hell out, and it isn't me. Yeah, the waves of books. Get in there. Hmm. Maybe upstairs? Yeah. 
I am really confused. Oh. I'm an idiot. Okay. So there was a crumbling sound in that room, so that's... Oh, don't mind me. I'm just really overthinking this. Unseen forest guides Alex's hand towards the painting, compelling her to look behind it. She reaches out and pulls back the painting and discovers a chapter page hidden behind it. Yes. A sense of familiarity overcomes her as the chapter page comes to her fingers. So does the realization that Roberto's spirit is aiding her. A war to end all wars. All this is going. The black dragon grows restless, my liege. Its hunger increases, and the binding continues to weaken. We feed it flesh, but I fear it will not guard the relic too much longer. There is no choice in the matter. It must remain and guard the artifact until the time of planetary alignment. After that, the guardian may return to its lair. Our master does not like failure. It is imperative to keep the binding intact. Then we have to find more flesh and bone. to end all wars redefined how mankind looked at war and the value of human life. Over 19,000 men lost their lives every day in the trenches of the Somme. Some say uselessly, some invoke a higher cause. I read accounts of the slaughter from many journalists who spent time in the trenches, but I found the account of a certain Peter Jacob to be the most horrible of all. His implication about the ancients' involvement with the war was hideous and so obvious. With the horror of the Battle of the Somme scant miles away and the distant echoes of pounding artillery, a young journalist named Peter Jacob researched his latest story from the front lines. His grim task brought him to Oublier Cathedral, now transformed into a field hospital. I find no solace in the purpose behind all the senseless violence that surrounds me. Young men die at a rate unheard of in centuries of warfare. Shelling, machine guns, and mustard gas. Rip, pierce, and burn to flesh. Men soak gauze in their own urine to stop the insidious gas. The hospitals here cannot cope with the torrent of wounded.
Is this random? Don't disappoint me now. I've waited such a long time, Alex. Never! I know what you are. I've seen what happened. You can try to fight me, but in the end, you shall succumb to my desires. I am a foolish child. You don't even know your own destiny. Get away from me! Huh. This is really happening! I guess me constantly, you know, dying over and over again, at least it's unlocks some cutscenes. All right, here's what we're gonna do. <laughs> now we're gonna. Oh, that is lame. Oh, you know what? Screw your game. Place intelligently now. No. Hmm. Well then. Can I do it again? Not yet. So seriously, nothing else. Bullets. Hmm. 
Here we go. Maybe I tend that really quick. Or something. Oh, it's because I have the shield on. So I guess when I went to grapple, it bounced off me. So. Oh, no. I want the bigger one. It's smart, that's all. Back to full. Oh. Wow. In my panic, I missed it. It's right here. So I got a sword, I got a rifle. Sweet. Lee Enfield, okay. Whew. These big monster bullets right here. Yeah. What I'm gonna do now, actually, is I'm gonna save it, because... Uh, not right now. Oops. Right, downstairs. Can I save it now? Oh, okay. Now, oh, I have to redo that. Where are you then? Antibach Megamore. Interbook. Magamore. Pardon, pardon. Nope. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Magically enchanted rifle. Oh, yeah. Finally. I don't remember if I can magically enchant the uh, torch. Oops. Uh, no, mix. Got some bullets in there. Oh yeah, I got a rifle. Let's do this. I know. Turn the corner here. All right. <clears throat> now we can move on.
Hate to waste my rifle bullets on those, but. all there is. Darn. Hmm. Maybe that's all there is. What else is this side? Oh, duh. Oh, it's a boiler room. Old, rusty, but faithful for many years, a coal-burning boiler provides heat and steam to the cathedral complex. There is currently no pressure being diverted to the generator. Sure. Perched on the wall, besides the generator, is an open face fuse box. Fuse appears to be missing. No sign where it can be. Generator is working, but doesn't appear to be fighting enough power to all the circuits of the cathedral. Perhaps the fuse blown? The lever switch generator on and off. Sound of metal grating against metal is combined with a hiss of steam, but there doesn't appear any output power. Is a circuit broken? Oops. This part I remember. So I got stuck on this one for like hours on end. In a rush of inventiveness, Peter jams the lucky penny in the place of a fuse. Amazingly, it works. The fuse has been replaced. Because <sighs> copper. And I'm like, oh, right. There we go. Aw, oh, magic we're off. That's fine. There we got power to the place. But um I can't remember why we needed power. To be fair, I understand that um, they are a little skin and thin <coughs> and spindly, so um, trying to shoot them might be a little hard. Yeah, I turned the power on. Now where do I go? Uh, can't go that way because I need the the coin thing. Wait, steam's being provided. 
the organ. Maybe the organ. Sounds like it's getting more intense though. A piece of very old paper sits on the pipe organ, callously misplaced and forgotten. Sheet music. Really old, well preserved pipe organ. Yeah, sure. Oh boy. Missing piece. I remembered it. Oh. Stairs to that. Right? Yeah. So it has to be downstairs. that now. Is that for small dog to pass through? Oh, okay. For a small dog to pass through. Trevor's been summoned. Press A to trap an enemy and was targeted, use it R trigger. Trappers cannot open doors nor pick up items. Right. Yeah. And teleports a body away. Let and then dies. Pretty clever. Circle of power, yes. All right. This room is used to store coal for use in a steam boiler that powers a cathedral's generator. Small piles that are all that's worth left, with all the mostly endless war of resupplies a long way off. Yeah, maybe I'm just getting paranoid, but it does sound like it's getting closer. Oh. I was actually slightly unnerved because the shooting stopped. I'm like, wait, what happened? Okay. Now we'll use this to reveal hidden. Uh, spell list. Reveal invisible. Uh, what do I need for it again? Arakath Regdemore. Arakath. 
right Oh good. I feel like you could save it now. Let's go. Oh. This is a door handle. <laughs> Okay, sweet. Um, we have a lot of bullets. Alright. Pop that in. We're good. Ooh, hold on. Uh, yeah. What are you again? Antipoc Magamar. Cast it on my rifle. I'm going to show these ancient beings what we use today. guys will Lot of defense now. Um, okay. Guess I should level up all my spells, huh? Narrowcath, Santac. I oh, know, not you. you. zombies heads and all it did was just uh, cause a bone the bone thieves to appear yeah here we go hey where are you Wailing on him. 
which way? Oh, just that way. Okay. Not too bad. Oh, yeah, the descent down the stairs. Top it off. is a monster. Uh, it's downstairs. There's three doorways. Yeah. That way's locked. Enchantment wore off kind of quick with it, but that's alright. Those big meaty guys can't dodge, so... sound. Oh. Trappers. Kind of doing the Resident Evil thing and like turning and then pointing the gun. Oh, what is that? Milky blue bottle stands on the altar. Magic elixir. What that do? Ooh. Not that I need it, but that's cool. All right. Wait, right, how much magic am I going to be needing? Well, it's a good to have, anyways. You know, I forgot I had flash powder, too. It's been two weeks since Haskell went missing, and I'm afraid to go to sleep. More than once I saw shadows of people moving past my bed, peeking through the blinds to see a wounded soldier being taken from his bed. Drugged and delirious in the dead of night, never to be seen again, as Haskell was. Perhaps I will be. What has happened to them, I don't know. I'm afraid to ask what happened, for I know that I would surely be the next one to be taken into the darkness. stacked full of occult items far beyond anything Peter has expected. He uncovers bizarre drawings of unnatural creatures, animated corpses, and other ethereal nightmares. Yep. Uh, push it. Pop it off just in case. Getting a little low on it, but that's fine. Finding all key. Alright. 
Oh, that leads to the place back there, okay. Doing good though. I have to remember to play it smart. Use my buffs when I have them and stuff. Chant item. This is a bit of a sound overload, you know? stiff body lies sprawled on the steps. Peter attempts to flip the corpse over to discover his identity, but all that's left in the man's face is a ruined mass of eaten flesh. Ugh. Magical attack spell scroll. Why would it be here of all places, and here in this corridor? Uh. Magical attack. Oh, can I do the thing where I summon the lightning underneath enemies and zap them? Oh, it's a room. But, are we gonna be like that priest guy and get squished? Uh, oh, okay, um... <laughs> yeah, send a zombie to, to go get hit. Alright, um... The corridor is ended by an elaborate door, decorated in a manner such as different than others in the other cathedral. You did a soul to open the door. Okay. This is World War One, so logically, I probably would have thought that was a shell or something. Would have been like, "Oh crap!" Then his eyes get drawn towards that, so it's like, oh, okay. like. <laughs> I hate to brute force it, but I want to see if I can brute force it. So I'm kind of annoyed at this point. Is 
drink a potion. Actually, let's see if I can do this intelligently. Cast you. This is actually how I think I did it. Sorry for the intense bass. Yeah, here we go. Magical attack. Seven. Here we go. Right. Okay. Now, can you cast it, please? Thank you. Doesn't look like I'm doing anything, but I think I am. No, no, bigger one. No, bigger one. There we go. Remove the shield. Wait for the bars to go away. Magical attack. Yeah. There. No. That's fine. Just cast. Now drink the potion. Magical attack, heavy attack. Yep. Dodging. I mean, I hit it really hard. Eventually, buddy. It's significantly less aggressive when I'm back here, so. Oh, damn it. Feel awfully stupid this is when I attack it. Yeah. That attack doesn't hurt very much. Here we go. Oh, I'm an idiot. Alright. Let me just save all this time and just... Oh, I, I didn't realize it wasn't hurting it. <sighs> Sorry, folks. Just this battle has a certain process to it. Yeah, yeah. So I wonder why I ran up to it and just hit it as hard as I could with all those spells, and I'm like, why ain't I hurting it? Ugh.
It's definitely a change from like you know Resident Evil. Where you just take the uh, the magnum and just blast away at like Tyrant or Nemesis or whatever you're fighting. Here you actually have to like uh, I don't know. You just gotta know what you're doing. All right. I'm tempted to try heavy attack on it, but okay. I think it's constant, like, rapid attack it was doing earlier was its way of just saying, I'm not supposed to be that close to it. Antipark, right? No more. Spell, uh, spell list, magical attack, assign, STU. Cool. Because it's grapple, that doesn't really hurt. Grapple, that doesn't hurt that much. I might as well put the sword away if it's not going to do any damage. Try hitting it with a heavy spell, see if that actually helps. See if it does more damage, you know. Ah, it took too long. Never mind. You need to drink a potion, though. Okay. All right. All right. Is that all you got? Seriously, buddy, come on. Just being annoying, buddy. There we go. Maybe I need my gun after all. Yeah.
Hmm. Can I just... left. Uh, it's going to be a battle of attrition at this point, unfortunately. that one. Okay. You want to cast your spell again? Come on. Oh, maybe she has to wait for minions to die out. Okay. Okay, they spawn in. So my sanity is crap. I can restore it right now, actually. It takes her forever to charge up, so take up take the opportunity, you know. Music died out, so I got excited. Alright. Come on. Counter spell. Zap. Ah, gotcha. Oh, oh she's getting mad at me. Come on. It's just off. I lost count.
six. And oh, never mind. Damn, zap. Is that all I had to do, really? No, no, you have to get down. Come on. Come on, you need to get down. All right. Um, one quick thing. Oh, oh okay, never mind. My uh, neighbor's cat was on my lap. All right. Let's grab it. The Guardian of Zelatov vanquished, and the stained glass that kept it hidden lying in pieces, the essence of Chaturga is liberated. Its magic beckons to Peter, calling to him. He approaches cautiously. Should Peter retrieve the essence of Chaturga? Now, as always, the answer is always no, but, well, we have to do it to progress. Peter reaches out for the artifact, but pulls away as he feels its corrosive magic close in his hand. Wrapping his hands in a shred of clothing, he carefully lifts the artifact from its resting place. Now he's got it. Whew. Wow. And that was how I came by it. <gasps> oh. I know it sounds crazy, but there you have it. The only proof I have is that statue. It's a strange one. I've seen one like it before. You have? Yes. Very rare, though. Very obscure. I've had experts take a look at it. And none of them know what it is. And you do. I'm somewhat of an expert on these things myself. <laughs> an interest I developed a long time ago while I was a young man. Then you should keep it. Lord knows I have no interest in it. I'm sure it's the cause of my sleeplessness. I keep thinking about it. As if it's calling out to me. Then a drink, perhaps. For the gift. For an unusual objet d'art. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> 